Today on Lucky Dog. After two months in the shelter, this extremely large shepherd mix is out of time. Reggie is more dog than many people want, but the Blevins of San Diego have been longing for a gentle giant just like him. We're hoping to get a large dog that has enough energy to keep up with our two young children. The question is, is Reggie the right fit for a family with two young boys? Oh, okay. Normally I wouldn't recommend a larger dog go into a family with smaller children. I'm Eric Weesey, and this is my wife, Rashi. And we've dedicated our lives to saving the lonely, unwanted dogs that are living without hope. Our mission is to make sure that these amazing animals find a purpose, a family, and a place to call home. Today, one dog will be saved, and one family will have a new best friend. This is Lucky Dog. Presented by Cosequin Joint Health Supplements. It's the perfect day for a bike ride along the coast. Today, Rashi and I decided to go to the beach with Estelle and try out the bike trailer with her. Rashi and I love to compete a little bit. Actually, mom might win this one. <laughs> Unless I take a detour. Come on, Estelle, let's go. Let's go. Nope, not happening. <laughs> oh, no, like... she found us. <laughs> I won the race. I let Eric win. After the friendly competition, they stopped to take in the view. She looks like she's falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Take it in. As we were sitting there, I actually got a text from the shelter. They have a dog that needs to be rescued. It's a 14-month-old German Shepherd Rottweiler mix. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe how big he is. 116 pounds. He's a big dog. Oh, that's huge. OK. Yeah, you can see his picture. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK. He has stomach issues. OK. He's been in the shelter for over two months. It's a long time to be in the shelter. Yeah. As I was reading the text, I knew Eric would be really interested because shepherds and Rottweilers can be stigmatized, but they can be the sweetest dogs. He's very sweet, but he's just being overlooked. OK. What do you think? Yeah, let's go get him. I don't know how much longer he's going to last in the shelter. I think I need to get him out as soon as I can. After dropping off Rashi and Estelle at home, Eric heads straight to the shelter. As soon as Reggie sees him, the big dog lights up. There's Reggie. Hey, big guy. Hey, I like the tail wag. Mind if I come in? Starved for attention, Reggie doesn't waste any time trying to make a new friend. Hey, Reggie. Hey. Hey. Yeah. You've been in here for a while, haven't you? OK, let's get out of here. Before heading home, they make one very important stop. Hi, Eric. Hey, Dr. Todd. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing really well. Today I saw Reggie. Reggie was a 14-month-old Shepherd Roddy mix who was really an awesome, gentle dog. He was really sweet. Just picked him up from the shelter. They did mention that he had some intestinal parasites. OK, what kind of parasites? Roundworm, Giardia. Oh, and Giardia, too? Okay. Yeah. OK, yeah, we definitely can treat that. OK. Is he doing OK, though? Yeah, he seems to be doing OK. He's just a little nervous right now. OK, let me do my physical on him and see how he is. All right, let me check your lung field. I'm going to listen for any abnormal lung sounds or any wheezing or harshness or crackles, anything abnormal. Sounds good so far. All right, I'm going to check your heart now. I'm going underneath. I'm checking to make sure he has a nice, normal rhythm, not too fast or too slow. He has a sinus arrhythmia, which is good, which is normal for dogs. Kind of speeds up and slows down with their breathing. I'm checking the other side just exactly the same, just to make sure everything's good. Yeah, sounds perfect. So far, so good. Let me just check your lymph nodes and just make sure nothing's enlarged. Looks good so far. Can I go to the front side? I'm gonna look at your eyes and ears while I'm looking on this yeah. side. Check your teeth. They look pretty good. A little bit of tartar, but not too bad for a rescue. And can I feel your lymph nodes here? There we go. Yep, these are good. Not too big. Let me go on this side. Can you get a light and look in his eyes? to make sure there's you know nothing wrong with his cornea or his lenses yeah. his pupils are working. Feeling his abdomen just to make sure there's no tenseness. All right, Reggie, you did great. So you know the physical exam is really good. He seems really healthy. I'm really happy with it. 
I think the treatment plan would be he would you need an antibiotic to treat the Giardia to make sure he can get rid of that. We should do another dewormer. I had to treat him with a special med that is for Giardia and also give him something to support his digestive system because he's been through so much. So I'm also going to recommend a digestive health supplement called Proviable. It can help support and maintain a healthy digestive system. It comes in capsules and it'll be one capsule once a day. Great. You have any other questions? No, other than uh, is he okay to train? Oh yeah, he's, he's a great candidate. He's very healthy, he should be great to train. Perfect, all right. Thank you so much, Dr. Todd. Talk to your veterinarian before providing any health supplements to your pet. Now that Reggie's on the road back to full health, it's time to head to the ranch for a bath. All right, Reggie. How's that feel? Even though Reggie's not too sure about the water, he's a good sport. Mm -hmm. And then he's ready for a new collar complete with his very own bronze training medal. Oh, there we go. Then it's time for a visit to the yard to get used to his new surroundings. Reggie, let's go. Look at that. Once Reggie's comfortable, Eric introduces him to some of the ranch's other residents. Hey, guys. All right, Rashi, come on out. You look a lot bigger than your photo. <laughs> yeah, he's huge. By the end of the day, Reggie is happily playing with the other large dogs in residence. Reggie might be built like a tank, but Rashi thinks his gentle spirit could be exactly what the Blevins family of San Diego is seeking. I'm Ben. I'm a pediatric cardiologist from San Diego. I live with my wife, Erin, and our two boys, Jack, who is seven, and Greg, who is five. I'm a pediatric hematologist oncologist in the Navy. In medical training, we couldn't have any dogs because we were living in apartments. So the second we moved to San Diego, we bought a house with a yard and adopted a stray. And she unfortunately died from cancer a couple of years ago. She was wagging her tail right up until the end. Her passing really took a toll. Pepper helped my husband so much when I went through my first deployment. Just comfort the whole family because it's not easy to have your mom gone for an extended period of time. It was like another companion to talk to, so it, it definitely created a hole. For a really long time, we uh, walked around the spot where she used to lay on the stairs. It was definitely different not hearing the thumping of her tail on the floor. It took us a while to get over her death. And then when we were ready to find another dog, uh, COVID happened and another deployment happened. Our family really needed a dog. Our boys needed a dog. And somewhere there was probably a dog that needed some boys. Before Eric can determine if Reggie is that dog, he needs to find out what Reggie knows. What about sit? Yes. Today, we're assessing Reggie's knowledge on the six classic cues, which are sit, stay, down, come, leave it, and loose leash walking. I'm going to a down. Yes. All right. You coming on call? You come? He didn't target my fingertips as well as I'd like him to, but that's pretty easy to modify. What about leash walking? Not bad. He was great with loose leash walking. Leave it, not so great with. Leave it? Uh, that's not gonna fly. What about your stay? I like the down. Yes. I think before he came into the shelter that he had some form of training, and now I'm just going to need to sharpen that up. Coming up, Reggie's size could be a problem. The family has two kids, five and seven years old. I knew mm. you were going to make that face. He's a big dog. 